Hello everyone, I'm Lazy Cross, and it's been far too long since I played a Skaven campaign, so we're gonna be playing Queek Headtaker in SFO Grimhammer 3 just to scratch that itch. And in SFO, Queek gets his own currency that goes very well with this lore, and what's gonna be a theme for this campaign with Queek's awe. Because we get it from killing legendary lords and collecting Queek's trophy heads. So we're gonna be hunting legendary lords in this campaign, and I guess we're also gonna be taking Karak 8 Peaks eventually, but it's not gonna be a main focus, we'll get to it when we get to it. But we can use Queek's Awe in Trophies for Clan Moors, which can upgrade our Warlords, we can upgrade our Clan Rats, because Clan Rats are gonna be very focused on in, in Clan Moors, because that's kind of their thing. And we can get War Cries, which is a temporary buff. But I think we're just gonna spend some right away with Unity of Clan Moors to give us a little bit of armor and leadership for Clan Rats, because that's always gonna be useful. Because even if we go up to Storm Vermin and just stop using Clan Rats, then this is still gonna buff the Menace from below. And I think we're always gonna have some armies that's gonna have some Clan Rats, so this is always gonna be good. We're gonna pop that right away. And extra leadership for Clan Rats is kinda huge. And we also have uh, Anjuk Malratra, which is a weird name, but he is... Ooh, sharp teeth. That is a pretty good one. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that one. So, pop him into the army. And before we do anything else, let's just go and do the first battle here. And it should be a pretty easy one, but... Oh, we got the ambush as well. Good start to the campaign. But it is the first battle, so of course we gotta fight it. And we don't really get to start with anything particularly flashy in our starting army, except maybe the Plague Claw Catapults, which are amazing. And we're gonna want more of these as soon as possible. But they actually have 8 models in SFO, which is crazy. But they do have a lot lower uh, missile strength than usual, but over 8 models they can do some insane work over a long battle. We also get to start with some storm vermin, and they're storm vermin, we know what they do. So we're just gonna spread out a couple of things. Actually, we can put one like over there, because there is actually a gap over there. Because we're we're just gonna sandwich these guys. Like so, so, and so. Oh, it'll be group two. We'll give you the chieftain as well. Ooh, actually, we'll put you a whoops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to move. Uh, we're gonna put you on the edge there and Queek right there because we're gonna try to just uh, goon this orc war boss and we'll just put you there you'll sit there and shoot and you'll be fine so just lock these attack attack grab Queek and that guy and just get on him on two angles and we get some beautiful just plague rain And we missed every shot. No, actually we clipped the edge of that one. Very nice. So let's pop a medicine from below right there. Get on top of the archers. And we actually get to just buff one of our units each battle. So you seem to be fighting lots of stuff. So let's just pop you. And that's going to give him quite a nice bonus in well, most things. That's gonna be very nice. We are gooning the Lord here. Because we're definitely gonna have an amazing goon squad in this well in this army. Because we'll get loads of characters and Queek and a bunch of well we also get a legendary hero in just a bit. That's also gonna be great just gooning characters. But I think that's pretty much... Okay, everyone get on those goblin uh, chariots. I guess you can start moving a little bit. But yeah, we have, uh, we mostly just won this. We just need our Melsas to kick in right there. There? There. There we go. Excellent. And I realized their leadership was kind of terrible, because we barely killed anything. I guess we did surround them and mostly beat up their lord, but I feel like they fled pretty early. Uh, we are playing on very hard, very hard, so they should have some bonuses to this as well, so I don't know what happened there. But I guess we'll take it. 
It's not a lot of money, so let's just grab a little bit of food and uh, we'll get some bigger loss reduction, which is pretty alright. And just move on to Crad Tommen. And we can speed you up a little bit. This one we can probably just auto resolve though. Barely take any damage, very nice. And we're just gonna settle this at level 1. And oh, I should have checked. I think it's 80 we need to settle at something tier 3. And I would very much like to get this at tier 3. Because that's when we get Plague Claw Catapults, we get a caster, we can get uh, pack masters and all stuff like that. And I don't think we need that, right? Well, actually, we are gonna need this in one of the buildings. Or one of the slots here. So I guess we can repair that. And can we... No, we can't raid on zero movement. I was hoping, but oh well. But we do have a legendary hero with Scar Bloodtail. And uh, he's gonna be pretty good. So we're gonna grab him right away. And I haven't actually checked his skill tree or anything, but he does have a special one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, quick commands, but I guess they're... Yeah. We'll look through this uh, in just a bit, I suppose, when we start leveling him, but he's gonna give us replenishment, and we are just gonna give him stats, I think, whichever one of these is stats. But yeah, he got some, he got some neat, neat things here that we can do, which is great. But we'll pop him in next turn. We do also have the Clanmore's headquarters, which is going to generate a bunch of food and growth and control and all that good stuff. So this whole area is going to be pretty stable thanks to that. And we can't, we can't research anything. So we are going to need a Rattling Warren. Which is this one. What do we get from this? Oh, I thought we got tech from this one too, but I guess we don't. So yeah, let's get a Rattling Warren. That's gonna give us some tech. And uh, just... Yes, oh, yes. right. We're gonna need some more clan rats. And Skaven Slaves also actually have a pretty harsh uh, unit capacity. We get it from uh, like Rattling Warrens and all of those buildings, the infrastructure bu buildings. The more of those we have, the more Skaven Slaves we can get. So we can't get a just... Uh, a horde of uh, Skaven Slaves in the beginning, but that's all right. We don't really need it. We got plenty of money and that's gonna be perfectly fine. We also have the Undercity in Karakate Peaks, but we're not really gonna do anything with that. We're gonna keep this around just to give us some nice buffs when we do eventually take Karakate Peaks, but right now this is perfectly fine. I also forgot that I should check diplomacy, because, like these guys, I'm pretty sure there are some people that wants to be fr Okay, it's just these guys, but I figure they probably want to pay some money for that. It's going to give us some trade, some extra free money, and they're probably going to die pretty quickly anyway, so they're going to give us just a tad bit of money in the beginning, and that's going to be great. So, we can't reach this anyway, and uh, I want to go raiding a little bit, because I want food. That's going to give us 8 food per turn. So, let's just uh, go and raid there. It's going to give us just a little bit of money, and it's going to give us a lot, a lot more food as well. I'm going to grab that for... Recruitment capacity, which we don't really need, but uh, all the other ones are gonna buff our clan rats and stuff, so It's gonna be great Can upgrade that as well And just pass the turn And we are at 76 with that So only 8 is from raiding uh, so we definitely have another six coming in. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go and sit like right there Recruit all a, a slinger slave, I guess and uh, Oh, we can get any kinds of I thought it was just slaves in general, but I guess we can get one of each and I also want one more spear and two more spears like that 
Then we can go take Karak as Gal next turn. We should be able to put it to tier 3. And that is gonna be great. Also leveled, so Root Marcher. Actually, we can reach that either way. So I think we're just gonna want a little bit extra leadership. Considering we're leading a, an army of clan rats. Which isn't exactly known for their leadership. And damn, they went and occupied that. But we can start sieging this. Might not want to charge in on this as is, but they might want to come out and fight. So we're just going to build a couple of towers for next turn. And hopefully we'll fight this in the field. But we can also upgrade this, which we're going to do for growth. And we're just going to ignore the Undercity. Actually, what do we need for the... Uh, the Scheme of Doom. After researching three technologies. Okay, right. I know you get it early, but I never remember how to get it. But So this is going to be pretty quick. Guess we can just do it like that. So we'll have one in seven turns. And beautiful. They are coming out to fight. So yeah, four or six menaces is going to be more than enough, I think. And this is going to be a fun one, I think. And I wish we had more play claws or a caster or something, because this is gonna get blobby, I think. And we could set up here, but I think we have too much stuff to set up over there. We could just protect our play claw by setting them in that gap, kind of. We'll grab these guys as just slingers. And I want you in the center. And then we're just gonna spread these around. We are gonna just try to hold this though, like so. Oh, actually, let's do that with a spear, because they do have some pig cap. And uh, honestly, just drag a bunch of stuff, like so. Because we got so much front line. Yeah, this is gonna get so blobby. Gonna want some of these, and. Oh! You're not supposed to. Damn it. I thought I put a spear unit there. I guess I just said I was gonna and then didn't do it. And just spread these around a little bit. Let's put one back there as well, just in case. And like that, I think. And then the characters are gonna do some heavy lifting here. You can be group two. You can be group three and four. There we go. So, we should be able to just bombard right from the beginning. And we'll see who's gonna need this, but... Wherever there's gonna be a lot of fighting, we're gonna pop this. Because that person is... or rat. I don't know if you call them person. But those are gonna need a little bit of a buff. God damn it. Dodging my things. Well, that's alright. Let's just speed this up while they... Holy crap baskets. That is... That is a beautiful blob. Um, let's use one of these. Let's just get them to blob here real good. Come on. There we go. Stay here and fight. Stay and fight, you cowards. And I think I cast it a little bit too far forward. That's alright. We should get some beautiful artillery shots here that... It's just gonna hit some of our units. Okay, they didn't last long. <laughs> That's fine. Keep bombarding there. They are gonna blow up real nicely. And yeah, they're all they're all gonna just funnel through here at the very least. So we are gonna get some good shots right there. And there we go. They have made contact. And our artillery haven't done as much damage as I would hope, but that's alright. Let's just start shooting in the back. These guys are gonna break pretty quickly. And as soon as Rotguts or Rotfang, Gorfang, <laughs> Rotguts, that was close, is coming close, that we are, then we are gonna just send in. Actually, we should probably collect these guys. They can go and fight the Orc Boys though. Sure, they'll be fine over there. You can go in and help with that, just hold the blob. Um, 
Let's pop this on some of their archers. But yeah, we're breaking them fairly quickly. Which is kinda nice. Oh, and uh, Ropfang or Gorfang is here. So let's uh, pop that on. Let's give it to Skarblood Tape. And uh, none of those have any abilities though. And uh, this Storm Vermin can get it, just. They can just cut through these idiots. Send you guys in there. Go and help. You can go and help over there and there. You go and help with those. And yeah, we're holding just fine. Start shooting in there, and how are we doing with... Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. How are we doing with you? We do have all of our guys around him. And how are we doing? Oh yeah, they, they barely even get any damage on them. So let's uh, pop these in on their archers. Good hits over there, but you can start shooting in there. That's a juicy ass blob right there. Oh, and uh, Gorfang has broken. Beautiful. Got some clan rats running over here, but we're still holding. I think we can. Oh, wait. There are boar boys over there. Well, they don't seem to be flanking around, so we might as well bring you in. And yeah, they're. Their black boss is also running. So I guess, uh, yeah, you, you guys can just sit there and fight. And now we just need to do as much damage as possible because they seem to be running. So yeah, chase these guys. Chase those guys. Storm vermin. <laughs> I just love how they say that. <laughs> it sounds so creepy. Bringing weird ass mustache twirling race, all of them. The lot of them. Let's pop that over there to stop that retreat. And just chase whatever you can. I think that is. No, not army losses yet. Still the chariots, I guess. And there are some things that are still unbroken here in the middle. So let's bombard what isn't gonna kill our own stuff. Although we are scaven, who cares? <laughs> let's bombard those goblins, I suppose. And yeah, just fast forward this. We can try to get on top of these. And they should break. And that should be it. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So there we go. Didn't lose that much. We can get most of it back, although I don't think we need to. We can just uh, grab this and we should be able to take it no problem next turn. So yeah, do that. It's fine. And this should belong to us. Oh, we do get some levels first though. So let's do... Do we just want to make you a slaughter machine? I think we might. But let's start with Root Marcher. It's not gonna help in this fight, but it's fine. Let's give you some combat stats and... Uh, replenishment is very good, so I think we really should start getting that going. But that is gonna be a decisive victory, no problem. And we should be able to pop that up to level 3 right away. Yeah, cost 80. So pretty sure it's more expensive in SFO, but... This is fine. 80 it is. We are gonna be very low here. And our Skaven Slaves are very expensive. But that's alright. We'll uh, we'll get this back. Ooh. So we got more time with this Ghoul King over there. But that gave you a lot of level. So let's just give you Elusive. Because once you get your b Bone Breaker, you're gonna need a little bit of uh, melee defense. And with that, well, we can demolish you. Oh, and we we do get, we will need this as well. Although it's not that much. 
I guess we get uh, money from all of these anyway, so... But I'm gonna want a Plague Priest. We might just grab this, build a Plague Priest, and then uh, tear it down. Because I'm not gonna play that much with Plague Monks since we have such a focus on Clan Rats and uh, Storm Vermin. So I'd rather just get some of those. Although, the Plague Monks are pretty good. Uh, we are gonna grab the... The play clock catapults and probably a warlock engineer get two kinds of casters and once this is Broken down. We're gonna get the beast building so we can get some rat ogres and the pack master I love pack masters and more monsters because they are sweet But let's grab the I Mean we are probably gonna need this anyway because we're gonna get a bunch of skaven corruption we're gonna get a bunch of collected income uh, negatives and stuff like that, so... We're gonna need an order building. But we probably only need one, because it's gonna be a plus eight, which is kind of substantial. And we can grab that. Which is pretty good, although... Nah, uh, we're gonna need... We're... Oh, that is so much negative control, though. This is gonna be... We might have to let this... Uh, rebel... See, it's going to be minus 15 that's going to go away and minus 30. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be stable eventually. Especially if we get this. So what harm is another negative 6? <laughs> ah, let's just do it. We can defend it. We're not going to go far. We might go to, like, Crooked Fo uh, Fang Fort. But, yeah, we're, we're going to be in the area. It's fine. It'll... Actually, it's gonna rebel next turn if we do like this. It is. So I guess we could just let it rebel. Yeah, let's do that. And what the hell is the Ghoul King doing? Oh, are you? Oh, you're trying to kill my rebellion. No? Maybe. I don't know what you're doing. But either way, I don't like it. So, let's go and kill these idiots. We can auto that. There we go. Let's uh, grab a little bit of replenishment, I suppose. And there's the border. So, let's go and just sit on the border. Does any of these give us particularly more... No. Okay, actually, just sit in there. We're gonna wait for our casters anyway. So, get the Morse buildings and just chill for a bit. We are growing the food pretty quickly, so we'll get to stable in just a little bit. Just like two turns and we'll be stable on food again. So we're fine. And uh, yeah, this is positive again. Beautiful. Wasn't even worried. So let's give you some combat stats. Let's give you some defense, and you can start getting this now. But what do you have? Yeah, these are just normal combat stuff, though. So you'll you'll grab these. And ooh, that's pretty nice. It's all offense, but that's fine. And invigorate. That's pretty cool. I mean, it is uh, <laughs> increasing uh, or lowering vigor. But that's a very nice buff for 50 seconds for, I guess, 10% vigor loss. That's pretty cool. Got ward save, growth, weapon strength when fighting dwarves and green skins. Yeah, there's some, there's some good stuff here. We will want him to generate fear, and he doesn't have any mounts, but that's all right. Oh, and he buffs quick. That's cool. But either way, let's. Uh, Pass the turn. And that... Nope, one more turn. Well, start building that in that case. And I hope the play class only take one turn. But I'm not entirely sure if they opted or not. Oh, and we should merge. And merge. Because we're gonna... We are gonna need lots of room. Because we're gonna recruit a bunch of play claws, and we're gonna need room for our casters. So, yeah. 
Ooh, buildings. I guess upgrade a U. And we can probably get more chieftains. Oh, can we get more chieftains now? No, we're capped. That's fine. Okay, so now things are gonna start happening. So let's go and sit right there. We're gonna recruit... Ah, dang it, they take two turns. Uh, I hate that. Well, let's grab three of them. We're gonna sit here for two turns. And let's get... Well, we can get another chief then. We already have that. I mean, that could be pretty good. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to have another one. Redundancy and all that, but usually they're probably gonna be together. But I guess that's fine. I guess the leadership is pretty good, just have you never break. These guys don't have the greatest leadership. What's the leadership on um, once you're on top of the bone breaker? Unchanged, yeah. So 50 leadership isn't great on a character. So let's get determined, I guess. We also need a warlock engineer. Oh, and feeble defense. There we go. This is what I wanted the, wanted the other guy to have. But yeah, that's pretty cool. But you're not going to be fighting that much in close combat. Because I don't remember. Do you, you get a Doom Flayer, right? Or is that just the Lord variant? All the extra speed and melee attack is pretty cool. You know what? I think I might actually take this. Make him faster, make him hit harder. Because he's just gonna shoot mostly anyway. So, do it like that. And... I want a Plague Monk. Well, some armor on you isn't bad. I don't like that you're slower. But you're mostly gonna be with the entire army. So maybe that's okay. Just make you tanky. I think that's good. And I mean 10% armor is just... Or 10% health is just 450 health. It's not that bad. Let's do it. And we need to make room for three more. So let's just get rid of one of each. Or two of those and one of those. Like so. And that's gonna be our army. Now we just have to wait three turns. Oh, this is good though. We should always have this on. So, turn that on. Give us food and control and all the good stuff. So, yeah, we only need one more tech in three turns and we'll get that. So, upgrade that, upgrade that. And yeah, we're gonna have a character doom squad with this. And they're gonna sit there and recruit, but that is fine. Because we're gonna get so strong here. And the top knots wants non-aggression pact. I don't think so. I'm just gonna ignore you for now. And we need to recruit 30 units to get uh, Shroud of Dripping Death. Alright. Well, uh, we'll get there eventually. But let's just pop all of these in. There we go. And oh, we can get the Packmaster now and as well. We need a two army. Ooh, Confident is so good though. And uh, I guess Warpstone Order because I don't think Strategist works for the Lord. It's just his movement. So grab this. We are gonna want some of those eventually anyway. And the plus 10 armor is fine. So next turn, we're gonna go for a Crooked Fang Forge. And uh, start going again, because we've been sitting here for a while now. Oh, hello! Oh, that's fun! They tried to sneak around, but that's not gonna work out for them. So I guess we're gonna fight this, because I don't want to take medium casualties. But that's a pretty good one. I wish we had our all of our play class, but that's that's alright. And we don't have that much armor for the Nessie Sculptors to attack either. 
So, there's that. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty straightforward. We just uh, put these in the middle, kind of. And then we'll drag a line right through there. There we go. Real next level tactics here. So, you are... You can be group 3. All of you are group 1, together with you, 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 and you. That's just gonna hang out there and try to kill the Lord. You can be group 4 and 5, just to keep you apart. And I guess you could have been 2, but whatever. Um, I guess we're just gonna fast forward and just cut to when things start happening, because this is gonna take a while. So they're getting close, and things have started shooting, including our catapults. So things are happening. Oh, they were way closer than I thought. I was <laughs> just zooming around in uh, close up, but that's all right. Uh, pop you on top of that. Um, let's grab all of you and just go and hunt the Lord. Just see if you can get there. We'll uh, give you the big buff, and you can start. Breathing plagues down here. So that's what we need for all of these blobs. We also got some Scorch, which is actually gonna be great right there on the front line. Neat. And some beautiful, beautiful warp lightnings. With their beautiful slowdown. But you're dealing with that, and their lord is just done. Come on, finish him. Get in your rat stabs. Come on. So, lots of their stuff is fleeing. Oh, but they do have some stuff that's coming on in right there. Okay, the rat leadership is not holding. Let's pop in one of those to get there. There we go. He is done. And don't chase that. Let's send you in over there. We'll send you to help out over there. One of you can run on over to that side because apparently it's needed. Let's get our breath through that. Ah, dang it. Kind of missed it. That's alright. They seem to break anyway, so that's good. And there we go. That seems to be pretty much army losses. So I should probably should have paid more attention to the combat and less attention on just small things that I thought was fun. But it's alright. We haven't taken that much damage. And we're still gonna recover a little bit because we're just sitting there recruiting anyway. And there we go. Perfect. And I guess we didn't actually take that much damage, it just looked worse than it was. So, let's uh, let's actually grab the replenishment, because we are going to go and attack them next turn. And uh, I would like to be a little bit healthier. But their entire army is dead, so I guess they they shouldn't put up much of a fight anyway. And uh, No, go away. I don't want to pay you for anything. So let's oh, get out of there. And ooh, a brutal business. That probably helps us. Although we are fighting uh, goblins and stuff, so it's probably net neutral. And I guess since we do have so many, uh, so many heroes, that we might not benefit that much from it actually. So let's uh, get rid of one of these. And I think we can get rid of the Skaven slave, honestly. We have so many catapults now, we don't need Skaven Slaves. So, pop you in there. Pop you in there. And uh, we cannot reach. That's alright. We can just go and raid a little bit right there. And then we can go and deal with that next time. Maybe we should... Oh, right. We have a... We have a damn undercity in our city. How dare you? You're even ally or friendly. <laughs> Why? You dick. 
Okay, well, we're gonna burn that. And I think we are gonna tear this down. Because I don't think it gives us much benefit other than giving us a plague monk. Or plague, plague priest. So, get rid of that. We can get better stuff. And I guess level all of our units. So, this is probably gonna be the worst part of this campaign because we're gonna have so many heroes. It's gonna be a pain to level all of these. Um, you're gonna need some defense because uh, you're gonna be... You're gonna changing a lot of that uh, defense for offense later on. Uh, score. Oh, actually, we want to max that because that is great. I think we grab that. <laughs> You can have that though, and that is all of them. Good. Oh, and next turn we should be able to do our right as well. <laughs> and uh, I think they want to hold on to their last string of life, but that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to eat them. But we get uh, bonuses for cl uh, clan rats, that's good. Win 10 battles with any single hero? Well, we got 6 of them. No, oh, no, that's how many battles we won. We got 7 of them, not including Quick. So let's go and take Crooked Fang Forge. That is actually a Pyrrhic victory. I guess we'll fight this real quick. At least we get to show off our new fancy Plague Claw catapults. And this map has so many towers, but we're just gonna have to deal with that. And I think we're gonna set up over here, because I think there are fewer towers here. Yeah, I don't think that tower is in here. Yeah, so we're gonna go and set up over here. Just pile up all of our Plague Claws over here. And that is so many Plague Claws uh, catapults. It is beautiful. I love it. So, let's just line you all up. You're gonna be group 1, except for you 2. You're gonna be group 2, whatever. No, you're gonna be group 3. Because all of these are gonna be group 2. We're just gonna line them up. Like so, and just move them on up. Probably maybe climb the wall, because it's gonna take forever to get everything through the gatehouse. And probably put you in group 2, you'll be group 3. Or 4. <laughs> and you'll be group 5. There we go. And let's just start it. So, pause for just a sec. We'll move all all of you up. And we might just climb them up the walls. Because we don't have a good way to break down the gate. Except maybe with the play claw. But I think I'm just gonna send them up on the wall. So, let's just send them over here. Like, Quick, you can go there. Sky, you can go there. The rest are just gonna climb over here. Because they're, they climb pretty quickly when they're just one character. All of you... Move on up there. Uh, you can start shooting and the Plague Claws can just start picking up... Oh, they don't man the walls really. Huh. Well, I guess you can shoot at whatever you want in that case. Nope, never mind. Um, you shoot there, shoot there, shoot there and shoot there. Just want you to start taking off the walls. And I just love Play Claw Catapults. They're just such a cool artillery unit, just raining blobs of plague death all over everything. It's such a cool unit. But they seem to have, be having trouble to shoot things because, well, they aren't shooting very well, they're actually moving. So, shoot you. Actually, just. Uh, Stay where you are, shoot at whatever you want. It's fine. You'll find something to shoot. It's alright. But let's uh, start breaking down the gatehouse. Let's start climbing the walls. Scott, go and climb the walls. Because I think we can just duel anything that's up here. And we're gonna be perfectly fine. And then we can turn off the towers. And the, all of our rats can stop taking all of the damage. Because, yeah, they're, they're getting up there pretty quickly. It's going to take forever. 
Uh, you can actually start climbing over here because there's nothing here to guard. And yeah, I think this is this is, this is a good idea. <laughs> I hope so, at least. So, climb fast, you slow bastard. There we go. Now go kill these biggins. And we've already taken it. Beautiful. Now we don't have to take loads and loads of damage here. And our play claws can just bombard the walls. Oh, and there, we can do that too. We got... Uh, we got the light... Ooh, that's juicy though. Nah, let's... Let's do it over there. We're already in range. And these are big ones, so they're more important. And the slowdown. But that is a beautiful little lightning bolt. Um, you can start climbing. You can start climbing. Sky is up there. Start already fighting orc boys. Very nice. Let's uh, send in some plague. No, some clan rats over there. Oh, I never sent you up. Oh, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, you dumb idiots. Oh, Gobby. My catapults are idiots. So I guess everyone can shoot at this if they want to. Just try to get them to shoot at reasonable things. Okay, all of you, kill the Black Orc big boss. You're working on it. Very nice. You're doing some work. Very good. And yeah, these guys are just gonna die from... A reign of death. So the clan rats are climbing. And we're taking lots of damage over here actually. Thought Skull would be better at this. They're just orc boys. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, let's have some catapults shooting in there. Oh shit! Our, one of our pack masters are kind of dying. I had higher expectations for you. I guess we're getting a new one. Oh, okay. That sucks. It's fine. Oh, are we? No, we're not even close to through. But, we can buff you and send you in. But, we're, we're alright. It might have been all of this shooting that's happening over there, so let's pop that on. We're killing that, so send you in over there. It's fine. There, it's not like we've leveled them a lot, so it's not a big deal. Let's uh, get a big lightning bolt over there. I should take out loads of orcs. Very nice. And get in and fight these guys. We're at least fighting these orc boys, but I would like to get in on that, uh, in on that wall, or in through that gate, rather. But yeah, these guys. Oh, get on top of the night goblin war boss. He's gonna get just gooned here. So hard to get an angle on the wall, but yeah, this guy is done. <laughs> Although we are just punting a bunch of uh, clan rats every time we attack. But that is alright. Let's have you start shooting over there. Shoot there and there and there. Let's get your shots in. We've dealt with the orc boys. Oh, and we're capturing this, so we don't even need to destroy that anymore. That's nice. Send that over there. And the Lord is down. Beautiful. So now we can just go down here and start murdering things. And... Oh, stay and fight. No, 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 stay and fight. I want to lightning bolt you. Or, no, nah, let's lightning bolt. I love the lightning bolt. It is the best. So, go and take out those guys. 
and kill these stupid orc boys. And man, this is this is a way bigger fight than I expected. There is, it just won't die, and they have some stuff in the reserve e even. Well, that's all right. I think we can fast forward a little bit over here. Oh, and we're out of mana. Okay. Well, we should be able to deal with these. And actually, let's give you a big buff. Kill these orc boar boys. Let's pop you on the other side of them. Just get them surrounded. That's fine. Very good. Uh, artillery, please kill that. Send in these guys on them. They're gonna be fine. Oh, and you can just come on down and kill them. Go and deal with that. Uh, let's grab these guys to take out these arrow boys. But we got a lot of anti-large here, so they should die pretty quickly. There we go. Those guys are pretty much dead. And that is army losses. Okay, that was way rougher than I thought it would be. Wait, is it not army losses? Oh, you need to break these guys. But I don't think we lost anything except for a pack master, but we can get a new one. It's fine. We might have too many characters anyway. Wait, what isn't... What isn't breaking? What's still alive? Oh, don't do this. <laughs> don't be like this. Okay, I guess there's something up here that isn't dying. Okay, well that is... Uh, that is incredibly annoying. Because it is going to break as soon as we get close to it. Where is it? I'm betting it's something up here. It's those... Uh, Probably those fight. Oh, there they are. That's gonna break as soon as we get close. Come on. Don't you run, you bastard. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was way harder than I thought it would be, but that's alright. But the Red Fangs are dead at the very least, and so is our Packmaster. But that's alright. Oh, a talisman protection. That could have been useful on you. <laughs> yeah, let's just grab this. And we got loads of food, so... Let's grab another tier 3, shall we? Don't mind if I do. So, we can't... Uh, well, we, can't get, we can't get another chieftain, but we're not gonna do that, I think. Or maybe we will. So, let's grab another one. Another Packmaster right away. And I guess Determined is fine. They are pretty low leadership. So let's grab that. And wait, you don't start with this, do you? Did I completely miss that you had a Wolfrat summon? No, you don't start with that. No, you get that at rank five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought I thought SFO had done some weird changes, but no, no, no. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll recover this pretty quickly. And uh, we are probably gonna get another chieftain. Because they are just really good. Ooh, and extra leadership. Don't mind if I do. But we might start uh, dividing these guys up into separate armies. Because we might get a second stack with just a couple of clan rats and uh, like a chieftain, a pla playing ma or a, uh, a chieftain, a pack master, and uh, maybe one of the casters. So yeah, I think that's good. So I guess we'll keep this around because we can get storm vermin from here. We'll keep that around because it's pretty decent. And I think we're going to try to get some some globes here. Could get some assassins. Oh, shit. We're okay, it's in three or er, two turns. I thought I forgot about that, which I did, but it's still two turns away. But yeah, we're going to end this episode here. I'm probably just level in between episodes. And um, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.